what we are seeking out to do is trying to figure out which patients will respond to the best type of antiplatelet drugs to prevent them from having problems after they have a stent placed. So one third of patients and up to 50% of patients have this uh, genetic variance where this enzyme uh, doesn't work well. And so if this enzyme doesn't work well, what happens is the inactive drug of clopidogrel or Plavix is not converted to the active drug then it has huge implications. I mean, every cardiac catheterization laboratory in the country and uh, internationally will have to start thinking about screening patients for the gene type if they want to prescribe Plavix or Clopidogrel. But the other wonderful part of the study is that we'll have the DNA in over 5,000 patients, and then we'll be able to analyze the DNA, not only for um, uh, looking as to uh, what, what genetic uh, markers uh, identify patients who respond to Plavix and aspirin, uh, but other drugs, and also try and look for genetic variants that are associated with uh, heart disease and coronary artery disease in general.